Welcome back to Living 808. Since we're spending so much time at home, we wanted to learn about simple treatments that you can do for your hair. It's a new episode of Dear Ponce, and celebrity stylist Crystal Ponce Ponce is back to share some of her secrets. Nice to see you, and your hair is always <laughs> looking fabulous. So we need to pick your brain or pick your scalp for this. <laughs> Thank you. You're in my box of bliss bathroom. So <laughs> I wanted to take you into what in my bathroom and show you the different DIY hair treatments. Because we get I get asked this all the time. So that we can just lengthen the time in between the salon hair appointments because I know that's really hard to come by these days. So what are some of your top tips that we might be able to replicate DIY at home? And go ahead, Rapunzel, let down your so, hair. <laughs> um, let down the hair because you know. I wanted to show you, like, it takes a lot. So I want to talk about, like, hair masks. And so the different types of hair shampoos and the things out there, it gets really confusing because there's so much out there. But it depends on your hair. But there's also treatments that you can do at home aside from your basic hair shampoo. Think about it as boosters. So I wanted to show you my hair because I just got highlights, and I know you did too, and we live in Hawaii, and we love our color. But when we go into the ocean or into the sun, it's so easy that our highlights go away and they quickly turn orange. Yes. So I wanted to talk about hair masks, how to help them keep, um, help, help your hair keep stronger, longer, and just kind of, you know, salon ready, even though you didn't go to the salon. So what is that one you have there? That's probably one that I need to get to make sure the yes. dreaded orange stays away. <laughs> it's called No Orange. And this one is from Fanola. And this is a salon product I got from the Foundry, which is a local hair shop in Kailua. But I learned from the best uh, that you have to have a good hair mask. And this one is, it looks a little intimidating. A blue shampoo actually is a really good hair mask to actually put in your hair. And it cancels out the orange. It takes away the brassiness and it makes it look blonder or refreshed. So it's really good to have it, you know, at least once a week. You put it in your hair after you shampoo, and then you put it in your hair and leave it in for five minutes or put it in the areas that you have highlights, and then you just wash it away. Especially good if you come out of the ocean because the ocean really does, you know, change your hair color in between um, your processing. And what are some of your other favorite mask uh, conditioner type things to keep your hair looking its best? Right, so my hair is really coarse, textury, and if I don't do a hair mask, I look like Madame Pele. I have really big hair. So extra hydrating, conditioning, anything is awesome. I wanted to show you two drugstore products that I use. So I love this Target brand. It's called Kristen S, and it's $10. It's a reconstructing moisture mask. So like mask for your face, there's masks for your hair. And what that does, it adds the proteins back in and hydration. It's good for all hair types. $10. You, again, wash your hair. I'll show you how I do it. I get out of the shower. I put it in my hair, kind of comb it in with like a good wet brush. So this is a good wet brush. And I smooth it, smooth it through my hair. Let it sit for about a good 10 minutes, wash it, and it's so soft and silky. But if you kind of like just want to try some product, I found this from Long's. It's a, about $2.99, I think. And it's from Nexus, and it's like a one time pack, or it's good for travel, or even actually, you know, when you're just kind of going and not sure if you're going to jump in the water, it's good to kind of have a hair mask even after the water. Well, if you do go in the water, we know we got to go straight in the water. Can't just spend the time in the beach. Right, right. What do you recommend for that? Because I know you okay. know. The hair mask, if that's too much for you guys, if it's too much time, or we, number one recommendation is a detangler. So a detangler before actually going to the beach or even after you go into the shower, after you shower is actually very awesome. This is from Unite. It's 75 seconds detangler. It's a leave-in conditioner, also from the foundry. So awesome. Um, kids can use it, guys can use it, you know, everybody can use it. And it's actually a really good booster product to just help the health, the health of your hair stay nice and soft and silky and just brush out those tangles and you know how that can get. Any last minute tips? Maybe you have a Zoom meeting or something. What's your quick get your hair looking ready to be on tip for that? <laughs> Zoom meeting, I, for me, I actually just like to slick my hair back in a ponytail and just make it look all good I, or throw a hat on it. Or if anything, make sure, you know, you have a good brush, put some soothing serum on it and make sure that it looks just groomed and put together. <laughs> all right, Crystal, as always, we love all your tips. Where can people go to find out more beauty and lifestyle 
Crystal Ponce Ponce's best secrets. I am posting so much more on my blog, PonceStyle.com, and my new YouTube channel. But if not, just go on my Instagram. I post a lot there. And if anything, if you have more questions, you can write us at DearPonce at KHON2.com. All right, Crystal, thank you so much for that. Get your questions in. And I'm going to do my hair. I'm inspired now. <laughs>